Oh, dude, thought you were ready for a Yamaha. Mm. The floor soft, but who cares? I'll cut it out. cut this deck out I'm gonna cut about right here all the way across all the way around down both sides and then I'm gonna come up from this corner basically from the corner of the boat here and I'm gonna cut out all this up to the top cut this out down around the transom and over back down and pull this whole cap out main thing I don't want to have to mess with this because this is this is rotten so this whole transom needs to be done and we want to do it from the inside not the outside on these smaller boats i want to keep all of this this outside hull all original so i don't have to mess with any of that Okay, we got the deck out and now we're working on the back transom section here um, it's kind of a little pickle though when you're doing something like this it's because this is not fully rotten all the way around like this section's sticking over here but this section's kind of popping but I, we got to get this whole piece right here out of the boat in order to dig all the foam out and then do the transom so and I we need to save this section so we can put it back on because you don't want to have to try and re-glass all that that's just that's just too much unless I take that completely out of the boat but I think that has some buoyancy factors to it it's just like all this foam it helps make the boat buoyant and it keeps you from sinking so that's what makes these that's what makes these whalers unsinkable. So I do need to refoam everything, but that's what we're doing. We're trying to get this section out without tearing it up. We'll get this pulled out and then dig all this foam out. Much, much later. 
And now we've got the deck out of the boat. We've got this back half piece out, out of here. So now we can start cutting into this. What's interesting about this transom is that the, it's foam, like legit foam. This is just the outside piece of glass. So there isn't even really a transom here. There's just a V, a piece of wood. And then these two pieces of wood here where that like eyelet was but there's not really a true transom. There's just this wood piece, that's it. That's amazing to me. So I'm gonna actually probably cut a piece of kusa, you know, half inch and double it up and go across the whole thing so I can bend it and, you know, go all the way across, potentially, not 100% sure. So that's why this piece back here is actually a structural piece opposed to just for buoyancy gave us some trouble getting that out but now I need to dig out all this foam we'll throw all this foam out from up to here all the way to the back we'll get all that foam out of the boat uh, main tool that we're gonna be using for that some of you have seen it a scraper blade so we'll be able to just hit <clears throat> hit us on the transom whatever we need to do And chip all this foam out so let's get all this foam out once all the foam's out we will be I'll have to see how strong this the hull is if I want to flip it and do the outside before putting the deck back in but depending on the strength because this foam is pretty much the entire strength of the boat so I might not be able to flip the boat over without putting the deck back in it just because of the strength and the bending. I don't want to break the hull or crack it or jack it up in any way. So potentially we might have to put the deck back in the boat before flipping it over and finishing all the bottom pieces of the hull. So let's go ahead and dig all this foam out and then we'll move on. All right, that's it for today. What we got done is got our transom all cleaned up. Everything's cut out of there. Got the rest of this all cleaned out for the most part. And we also got this lip right here pretty much cleaned out underneath. So that way we can come back and put a piece of fiberglass that's about this big along this whole edge all the way around the boat. So when we put our deck in, what we'll do is we'll screw that glass there and glue it, take the screws out and have that piece all the way around. Put the deck down and it'll have something to sit on then we can grind that out and glass all the way around there when we go to glass our deck back in with our transom almost all the way cured up we are going to get in here and start cleaning this up i need to get all this old foam out of here and clean all this up get it all ready as well as the decking over here get all this foam off of here get all this cleaned up and then get us ready to make a couple patches here to wherever we've got some broken some broken pieces of the deck so let's go ahead and clean all this up
I've got most of this ground down. This is the edge that's just going to get sealed to the PVC board that's going to stick right here when it's put down. But we will need to, here's a hole here, here's a crack there. We're going to need to put some glass on it like here. I'm just going to put one piece of glass on the bottom here for this to glass this off. And then whenever we put it in the boat, I will fair it out the way it needs to be. There was a piece like this. So it looks like what this is is just a they had a piece of foam and they ran the foam down the middle and they had one here they had this one here and they had another one there and they that was kind of used as like a not really a stringer but just a piece to give the deck strength down the middle so this one's in not too bad a shape so we left this one but these were all jacked up so i took those out and we're going to this one I've got to grind down. This one I have ground down. So I will take a little piece of probably this kusa here. I'll rip a piece of maybe a one inch piece. I mean, this is only a half inch piece of foam, but I'll probably take a one inch piece of kusa, run it all along the edge. Actually, I don't know if I could use the kusa because of the deck itself. I don't think this deck is completely flat. So if I put kusa on there, that that might not work we might have to find a piece of foam that's more flexible or i'll have to take the kusa and somehow make it flexible because i need to lay this we need to lay this into the boat and see how it lays before we attach any kind of stringer here that that will make this stiff because this is i mean this is a very thin piece of fiberglass so we are going to have to put something here down the two sides. I've got them ground down. We'll get those ground down and we'll just lay it in the boat. See what it looks like once we get our pieces along the edge here. We'll put our pieces all the way along the edge there. And with those in, we'll put the de de deck back in the boat. Once the deck's back in the boat, we can see exactly how, what kind of flex we've got, how we need it to be in order to run those little stringer pieces because if you can see it and you can see how curved that is so we got to make sure that we keep that curve uh, when we put the deck back in it's going to be very important to make sure that the boat is not out of whack whenever we glass all this back together just because of how thin this is i mean you can see it just pushes down so I need to make sure that's straight before we fiberglass this deck back in just so we don't crook the boat. I think next what we're going to do is go ahead and cut our strips that go along this edge. I've got them all um, stripped down. Now I just need to go ahead and put them up, stick them down with the screws, get them ready, and then we'll figure out what we're doing with this deck situation. We've got all of our strips in except for this back half back here, but I'm gonna wait to put those in just cause I'm not sure exactly. I do think I'm gonna need to put something under there, a piece of starboard or something, so that way the bilge pump will have something to stick to. And we've still gotta do some work with the drain there and how that drains. So I haven't really put those on just yet cause I'm not sure how this is all gonna line up, but the rest of these strips we've all got in there. This is ready for the deck to be put down just so we can see what kind of curvature we have. Uh, the deck is over here. We've got a lot of this stuff cleaned up and we do have pretty much all this ground all the way around except for this stride right here. But we do need to do, I got to grind up where that cracks at. So where that cracks at, all that's got to get piece of glass on it while it's out here. I don't know how this deck is gonna lay in there. I think what I'll probably have to do first is figure out what to do with these humps. Where all these humps were, there's supports there for the deck. I should probably fix all those, grind the rest of this out, grind this down, just like I have over there so it's ready to go in. But again, I gotta figure out what to do with those stringers. So. I guess I, what I'll do is I'll fix these up. I'll make some blocks or something to get to the same size that they were. So I've got the boat pretty much leveled off the way I want it here. I've got it all blocked up with different blocks on the um, different parts of the bottom of the boat. So that way I've got 
everything sitting on structural chines and points on the boat so there's no pressure on the bottom of the boat here um, it's all where it needs to be on these boards and on these chines and on the blocks so that way I know the deck is even though the boat's sitting crooked it's still sitting to where the deck and the bottom is there and everything is is the way it's supposed to be my idea is that they've got these blocks here and these were just you know glued into place I'm gonna have to fix some of these this one I might be able to lay glass over I'll need to make ones for that side I'm gonna do them the same size as this I'm probably going to make them out of Kusa I've got some Kusa over there I'll just cut little blocks of Kusa then we're going to use some Bondo just to make up a hot batch of Bondo, stick them down to the deck to stick them into place, and then I'll be able to roll some glass like this is. I'll be able to roll some glass up the side of it just to make some blocks so that way when we put the deck down, it'll set on those blocks. With those blocks in place, when we put this deck down, another thing that I'm going to do is we're going to mix up some pookie and mix that pookie all along this edge that's going to seal it down but i'll also just make a big glob and stick it on each one of those blocks to sit to stick the thing down to seal the deck down because when we put the foam in there if we don't have the deck adhered to these blocks or anything at all when we put the foam in there it's just going to push the boat the deck of the boat up and then you're gonna have like a bubble in the floor of the boat so in order to get away from not having a bubble we're going to go ahead and clean off these spots where those blocks were we're going to clean all those off so that way when the the deck gets put in it'll stick to that pookie we're going to go ahead and work on these blocks real quick grind that piece down and then we'll be ready to begin to put this back this floor back into the boat That's definitely not what you want on the first day. I was hoping that the PVC board would work, but looking at it, it's that's not going to work. I'm going to have to take all that PVC board off, and we're going to have to cut strips of Kusa and then resin them up under there. So it was a uh, it was worth a shot, but didn't work. So we're going to take it all off, grind underneath there, and then put Kusa strips under there. And while we're doing that, we'll go ahead and lay the glass up for this piece right here that we need to lay. Fix that little hole. We're going to lay our glass to fix all these um, holes and cracks. And then we will glue our pieces down in the bottom and stick this deck in here today, hopefully.
right well we got our glass on here get this is drying these cracks these all look pretty good all looking pretty good um this one here we've got a little bit of air underneath where this crack is and where this piece is sitting there but when we get it from the bot from the top we'll be able to get rid of that that won't be a big deal main thing is that the rest of this is all solid and cleaned up so that way this crack is fixed that crack is fixed this crack is fixed i got a little bit of where the things flex there but other than that it's all filled in and and that'll be all right so when we put this back in the boat it'll be all right this one that's nice and patched up so once this dries we will be able to lay this in the de in the boat we'll dry fit it we'll, we'll need to re grind here just so that way this is ready to be stuck down in we have not made our kusa pieces just yet but what we do we're gonna go ahead and stick a little bit of bondo down on these things so that way they'll stick down and then we'll lay some glass on the sides of them just to stick them to the bottom of the boat and then we'll be ready to make our kusa pieces and put the deck back in the boat We've got our blocks glassed down to the hull of the boat. So now what we need to do is once this dries, we're gonna take a string and go from there to there and run a string over the top of them. And then we can grind down and get them all to where they're all level from the front to the back. And then what we're also gonna do is go from the port to the starboard, or well, vice versa, port to the starboard, port to the starboard. And make sure that this one and that one are pretty level so that way we don't have a bunch of lumps in our deck when we put the floor down. Okay, so now we've got all of our PVC pieces out. We got our Kusa pieces cut and got them all epoxied into place. We got clamps on everything holding those pieces up. So now we just gotta wait for these to dry out. Once the resin is all dried and the pookie's set and the, all these pieces of Kusa are epoxied to the bottom of the deck, ready for our deck, we're gonna take a piece of string, like I said earlier, we'll go from there to there with the string and then we'll flatten all these off so they're the same level. Then we'll go from this side to that side and make sure all those are level. Once all those are leveled off, we'll just take a grinder, kind of grind them down. We'll lay a piece of glass over them, soak them in resin, put pookie on each one of them, and we'll set the whole deck down on in place.
All right, the deck is in the boat. I think we should be pretty good. This is still a little tacky though. I was hoping I could take all these cinder blocks out of here, but looks like our resin is still a little tacky. So I'm gonna just take out some of our blocks for the end of the night here. I was really hoping. Well, it is what it is. It's all right. All that weight <clears throat> down here got it blocked up. Oh, well, looks like our deck came out looking pretty good. Got a couple spots that are, you know, a little jacked up. That's, you know, this cracks obviously a little issue, but what we got to do now is just grind about right along like this, staying away from this curve right here, but getting down in here and getting about a one inch, two inch piece. So that way we can fill this with a piece of glass all the way around on this crack. So that way later on as the boat's going through the water and it's flexing, this crack doesn't show back up. If we were just to fill it and ferret, then this will just end up cracking. Also, the glass is going to help make it one solid piece. A few moments later. Now I've got a lot of this ground out, ready for some glass in my cracks and stuff like that. We still got to get our glass on those but the rest of this is pretty well ready for us to cut our pieces of mat woven whatever we're going to do i'm probably just going to do mainly mat along most of this but this right here might get some woven or something that's more structural than just mat just because mat's so thin but other than that the only thing left to grind out is this little corner here but this is a little difficult to hit with the grinder same thing over there but the rest of this is all ground out, ready. We're just gonna cut our pieces of glass, lay them in there. Once we lay them all in there, we'll figure out and make sure that they're the right things. Lay them all out, mix up our resin, lay our resin in the boat, stick all the, all the fiberglass down, and then we ready to start fairing out the boat. I should have fared this out when we glassed it. That's the one thing that I messed up on is I should have, as soon as we laid the glass, mixed up the fairing filler, put the fairing filler over the glass that we just laid. So before it dried, the fairing filler had time to cover the glass just to make it a lot easier and a little bit less sanding. But in the heat of the moment, we didn't do that. So therefore we are sanding a lot of this I didn't get any foam. I ran out of foam while doing the deck. I thought one gallon would have done it, but we got the extra dense foam, not the expanding foam. So 
the gallon that we got only did eight cubic feet in it we really need maybe 24 cubic feet so I'm waiting on the other gallons to come in as soon as those come in next week we'll finish doing the floor and hopefully we'll have a lot of this over you know a lot of the outside of the hall pretty much done fared out ready for paint so that way as soon as the foam goes in we can sand down the deck and then I'm just gonna roll gel coat on the deck gel coats a lot more durable than paint but for the sides and for the uh, gunnels we're just gonna spray it with paint and then in the inside we'll roll gel coat down for the floor just because it's a lot more durable and it'll help us in the in the long run